Hey everyone, welcome to Cat Chat. We're here at the Honolulu Coffee Company in Alamona Center with Pete Licata, who is not just the reigning U.S. World Champion Barista, but also runner-up at the World Barista Championships that just happened in June, right? Yeah, just in happened, Colombia. Yeah, a week and a half or two weeks. So, ago. what was that whole experience like? Uh, it was it was wonderful. There were there were 54 countries from around the world. Okay. And I was there to represent the United States. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so you the competition entail you have to do four espressos, four cappuccinos, and four signature coffee drinks of your own in 15 minutes. Yes. And you came in second to an El Salvadorian. Yes, a guy <laughs> by the name of Alejandro <laughs> Mendez. How are you going to compete with that? You know what I mean? You know, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, he, he was he is a good guy, though. So. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, I was really curious about what it means to be a barista, because I think that term is kind of thrown around. You know, people go to coffee shops, and it's like, a barista is somebody who makes your coffee for you. But it's really more than that. Yeah, it, it really is. And, 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 you know, what people have always thought of a, a barista being just that person was like, oh, there's my coffee guy that gives me that coffee. Okay. Uh, what, what it really is becoming and what it really is, is, is a coffee expert and, and somebody who can really tell you about a coffee okay. and be very, very highly trained to prepare it properly. Because if, if, the, if the, all, any of the little links in the chain of, of what you're doing with that coffee breaks down, the coffee flavor is not going to be where, where it should. It's not going to be as good as it should be. So I don't, I'm not a coffee drinker. Sorry to say that. I'm not, I know I'm not. But I, I, I aspire to be a coffee drinker. But what is, um, <laughs> and I do drink coffee when I need to, but I, yeah, I kind of drink Diet Coke a lot. Um, okay, I know, okay. I, I'm sorry. Um, but tell me, what is it about the coffee, the preparation of the coffee that makes it good? Well, it, there's a consistency of what you're doing. You, know, you, you start you know, with, with a good product, obviously, and, and you, you, you know, make everything to, Essentially, what are what are uh, like standards? Standards, okay. yeah, of 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 extraction, pro, you know, percentage of, of how much of the coffee you're extracting. There's a lot of science that's going yeah, into it now. Yeah, this is kind of sounding geeky. <laughs> you can get there really fast, <laughs> but uh, you know, most mostly what it is is doing it consistently, where you get the good flavor that you you know you can get through okay. a little bit of trial and error and a little bit of education. Yeah. On how it's going. Okay. Yeah, so. And yeah. you literally work here. Yeah. I mean, you actually serve people coffee, which yeah. is pretty cool. I mean, you're the People are getting served coffee by the nation's best barista. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, and what is it about Honolulu Coffee Company that you think is different, aside from just you being here, um, <laughs> than other coffee shops around? Well, our our staff is, is highly trained. I, I train. Uh, actually, I oversee the training of all of the all of the staff that we have. Okay. Here. So they better be uh, good. That's right. That's right. <laughs> they better be making really good drinks. Yeah, Tell right. me. Tell me about this. <laughs> right. Uh, and, but you know. The, so the quality of, of what we do is is very very high, and we keep those standards. Uh, we also, you know, have a great I mean, the, the, the customer service training, the, the standards we hold for just how we treat our customers. I feel is 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 very far beyond what you can find just about anywhere else around. Okay, here. and um, as far as the coffee that you offer, there's are you going to be serving? Are you going to be selling the coffee maybe that you? Uh, you performed at this competition? Uh, we have we have in the works right now a, a, a blend okay. that will be a, a rip, you know, very close recreation since the coffee that I had. Well, I picked all of that coffee myself. Yeah, he picked the he picked the coffee himself, which right. is kind of cool. So we can, I can't sell that coffee specifically. Right, right, right. But we are going to be selling. Uh, a, a blend that, that is very, very close to what it is and, that I use. And they can only find it here at the whole yes, new coffee yes, company. Yes. That's good to know, good to know. So my question is, and I'm sure the viewers are interested, um, those of us who make, not me, uh, but people who make coffee at home, is there any advice, any tips that they can just, just one or two ways they can improve their own coffee making? Improve your own <laughs> coffee making? Yes. Yes. Buy coffee fresh within a week or two at okay. most. At the moment. Week or two of roasting, or of roasting. Of roasting. Yes. How do you know that? Uh, you should, the, the, uh, if you buy it from somebody, they should be able to tell you when it was roasted. Oh, you have to buy it from someone. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> that that makes a big difference. Okay. And, and honestly, on top of that, if you grind it fresh, have a grinder at home to grind that coffee fresh, okay. it makes a complete difference. Really? That's it. So buy your beans fresh about a week a week or two after roasting, and then grind it yourself, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, the longest. I mean, you can buy coffee that's that's that roasted that day if you want to. Make a difference. Oh yeah. Really? Good to know. Well, if you want to learn more about coffee or you want to get coffee from this guy, come down to Honolulu Coffee Company here at Alamoana Center. Check them out online at www.honoluloffee.com. 
follow these guys on Twitter. Um, that's about it. Join us for next week's Cat Chat. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and come back here and check him out um, and go make me a cup of coffee. <laughs> See you next week. Thanks. No, really, you should make me a cup of coffee. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you said you don't like coffee. I don't drink coffee. I know.